can you please try and explain to me what you interpret by what can be unburdened by what has been? What does that mean? There's a line in Marx where sometimes you hear certain phrases like a world to win. AOC uses the phrase, we have a world to win, which comes from the end of the Ma uh, Communist Manifesto, originally written in German. It was the name, I used to hang out in uh, the Revolutionary Bookstore in Cambridge, Massachusetts with the communists because they print everything in every language. So if you're trying to learn multiple languages, they'll print the same text in all of these languages and you can compare. Um, it basically says you have to wipe out what has been to arrive in the new. And where's and, it from? What can be unburdened by what has been? It's not a direct translation, but it occurs in Karl Marx. Now, I, could, I wasn't expecting this. I could find you the exact reference. If you think about what Mao had to do to wipe out Chinese history, what Pol Pot had to do, you're trying to wipe out memory because the memory has all of this burden. Why, do you, why, why is it important to go after doctors and lawyers and teachers and professors? Because in some sense, they are going to resist the new order that you're about to impose. You're looking for a blank slate. They're like a tether to the past. Do you know what a nail house is? If you Google nail house under Google Images, do it, or you can't do it, or you're off the internet. No, I can do it. It's a tall building, an individual standalone structure in the middle of a road. There are these people who will not give up their homes when a shopping mall goes in or a road is put. And for some reason, they'll build a highway to screw over the person who stands up and says, I will not move. And the idea is that that road is the future unburdened by what has been, and then there's some holdout who won't go along with the program. If Kamala Harris is as unsophisticated as we think she is, do we really believe that she is quoting from the dark depths of... Why do you believe she is as unsophisticated as you have just claimed? What did her father do? I don't know. Look it up. And by the way, I am assuming that I will end up on the open skies watch list as a result of this podcast. That is crazy, by the way, what happened to Tulsi. The trip, the quad S on her boarding pass. Donald J. Harris, the father of Kamala Harris, Jamaican-American economist, professor emeritus at Stanford University, originally from St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica. What kind of economics? Known for applying post-Keynesian ideas to development economics. Hmm. What's post-Keynesian? I don't know. Post-Keynesian economics is a school of economic thought with its origins in the general theory of John Maynard Keynes, subsequent development influenced to a large degree by a name I can't pronounce. I think that there was a lot of Marxist thought. And I, uh, as, a, as a man of whose family comes from the far left, you recognize certain sorts of commonalities. I'm sure she would see them in me. Um, the Democratic Party is not communist. I don't think that that's right. That's the critique of many of my right-wing friends. But it is welcomed in a lot of neo-Marxian thought. I would say AOC is straight up Marxist. I don't know. I think Kamala is both, is everywhere between crony finance, and Marxism. You're talking about things for which you do not have language. So the reason that I said I don't think that Kamala can be as sophisticated as perhaps this obscure reference said a hundred times, apparently, according to the archive. Who's Charles Mingus? I don't know. Kamala is a lot smarter than you're given her credit for. I mean, this is the uh, your point about how many levels through it do you go? This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. Yeah. But in order to be able to do the Ukraine is a country, it is a small country, Russia is a big country, they are a bigger country, this is bad, time is all around us. In order to be able to do that, 
self-referentially with agency, knowing what you're doing, the metacognition to be able to do that and play a role to me seems it's, that's like 200 IQ stuff to be able to do that. I don't think so. I think it's 130 IQ stuff. There's an old FDR line, which is nothing in politics happens by accident. Don't get taken in at level one. 